baby goose. All right, everyone. Hope you well. So we are starting our video outside. As you can see, now I've actually got a bit of a weird idea, something a little bit different because, well, I kind of want to do it, so I'm going to. But we need to go and find supplies. Now, I am standing right next to an elderflower tree, but that's not what we're doing. I've already got the elderflowers for a future video. Uh, yeah, you know, time, timey-wimey stuff get the reference anyway so we're gonna go off and going to find our prey which is actually being pretty elusive but fortunately we've got miles of coast so uh, I'm, I'm gonna go so see you in a bit so we have found our prey right there so what we're looking for is honeysuckle first of the season so I've kind of had to ditch the fields and go to the hedges since it is an invasive species in Britain, we can do whatever we want with it, which is cool. Uh, but it smells absolutely fantastic. It is, it smells like honeysuckle. I mean, if you've ever smelled honeysuckle, you know what it smells like. It smells like honey. So we're going to go pick a load of this. So uh, wish me luck. So you know how you see YouTubers, you know, a lot of YouTubers out there and they're there and they're on beaches and they're riding jet skis and everything. Uh, I, I'm, I'm collecting... Uh, Honeysuckle, which I'm actually doing rather well. Found a nice big load of it. Uh, only one downside. Yeah, I'm I'm in a drainage ditch. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do wrong? <laughs> Where is my life going? <laughs> so that's as much as we're going to collect today. Let's head back to the house. Oh, we are back in the house. We have a honeysuckle, which oh, makes the house smell fantastic. So what we're going to be doing today is making a very nice, easy and simple recipe. And the great thing about this is you can use bread yeast because I always get asked, can you use bread yeast? This one you can. So what we're going to be doing is making honeysuckle mead. Sounds pretty cool. Now there are some great advantages to doing this. One is, uh, well, you can use the cheapest chips honey. I know I get a lot of flack for, you know, messing around with this cheap honey. It doesn't have a lot of flavor. I mean, it's a generic honey flavor. It's nothing fantastic. It's nothing special, which means we can caramelize it. We can burn it. You can do all sorts with it. But because we are going to be adding honeysuckle to it, it's going to taste absolutely fantastic. So you're only going to need one jar of honey and about 500 grams of honeysuckle. And we're going to make an approximate one gallon batch. You know what we do. I round it up and make five liters. That way you definitely get your six bottles of uh, tasty alcohol. So here's a couple of things. If you can't get a hold of honey or you're cheap or, you know, whatever the reason, you don't have to use honey. Honeysuckle has an amazing flavor. It almost tastes like honey, like it is, if you just brew it with sugar. So if you're not gonna be using honey, just replace it with 500 grams of sugar and it will be about the same, 5.5% ish. So that being said, let's begin. So our first step is to add the honeysuckle into the pan. Now there are some, um, well basically honeysuckle is poisonous. So the only bit that we want is the flowers themselves. Anything green, we don't want. Same um, as, well, elderflower. Elderflower is actually poisonous, but the actual flowers are not. But a tiny bit isn't gonna kill you. So, you know, use, use your own common, you know, prerogative to how you wanna do it. One or two is fine, lots, not so good. So what we need to do now is make a honeysuckle, basically water. So I have boiled the kettle, la di da, and we're gonna add it in. This is gonna kill off the wild yeast, extract the flavors, and well, it means we don't have to put our honeysuckle inside the demijohn. So uh, in it goes. So currently all we need to do is make sure we don't have 
more than one gallon's worth of liquid. I'm going for about a litre, maybe two litres. I haven't, I haven't counted. We don't need to, just under four litres. So now our water has been added in. It is sterilizing and extracting the flavors. Oh, it smells good. So what we need to do now is leave this to cool down. It's going to infuse over the next few hours. So uh, this is the bit that takes the longest, apart from collecting. So uh, I'm going to see you in a few hours. Right. So while we're waiting for our honeysuckle to steep and cool down, and you know, do its thing. We're gonna sterilize the equipment that we're gonna be using. You, you can't really sterilize for too long, to be fair. This is gonna take a couple of hours, so I might as well just sterilize everything and rinse it when I need it. So what I'm gonna be using for sterilizing is thin bleach. This happens to be as the smart price, though this one does have an addition. It's not just bleach inside. It's got a little bit of caustic soda in there. It's fine, it actually works exactly the same. It just means we need to rinse it just a little bit more. And the classic dish soap, Fairy, because it's the best. So uh, if you don't have a glass demijohn and airlock, no need to worry, because you can always use the faithful five liter water container um, that you can buy at pretty much any shop. And it is sterilized right from the get-go. So pretty handy. So, I've got a pot, got my hydrometer, pour in a little bit of bleach, la la la, little bit of dish soup, and then add some water onto it. This is actually cold water, it just happens to be, it's easier than lugging it over there. So when I go to sterilize stuff, I can use this solution to sterilize the, uh, what do we call it? Sieve, that's the word I was looking for. So again, I'm just gonna go in, stick a glug of dish soap, make it all bubbly. Add in some bleach. You don't need to measure the amount of bleach. You don't, because you only really need maybe 10 mil per gallon, something like that. So just a healthy glug. It can never be too sterile. And again, I'm just gonna top this up with water. Dun, 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 dun. Should be good enough. And now I can use my uh, bottle brush, mix it all around. Ah, stick the airlock inside the old bleach solution. And I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna clean this up and uh, yeah, I'll see you when everything is all done. So it has been about eight hours and everything has been, well, left to cool down. I have gone ahead, I have sterilized my worktop, I have rinsed my demijohn, rinsed the, uh, the airlock on the top, put a little bit of water in there to keep it as sterile as possible. I got my hydrometer in fresh water, just because it's easy. And I have sterilized my sieve and my funnel. Now is the good part. So I have got a honey solution right here. Well, I've got a jar of honey that we're going to be using. I'm only using one, so make it as you will. It should be light and, well, nice to drink. We want to bring out those flavors of the honeysuckle. Now, I was thinking about adding, you know, raisins and all sorts of other stuff to it, but honeysuckle and honey put together should be enough to make a light, bubbly, tasty little number. That's the plan. So, since it is pretty damn warm, our set honey is actually uh, pretty runny for set honey. So first things first, I'm gonna put it in here and just add some hot water to it to dissolve our sugar. So our honey solution is now mixed up, all nice and dissolved. It's gonna save a lot of time later on doing it in this easy step. So I actually have some yeast nutrient. I bought some more. So I'm gonna add in my yeast nutrient into my honey solution, because you know, why not? It should be able to ferment without it, but why not? I want the best fermentation I can get. So just take an approximate teaspoon. This is actually a teaspoon measurement. Very unlike me. And uh, I can just move that to one side and it's all dissolved in. Looking good. So, 
Now comes the good bit. Since my side has been sterilized, I don't mind putting my airlock on the uh, on the counter. There we go. So we've got our funnel and we got our sieve. There we go. So first things first, we're adding in our honeysuckle jus. And as you can tell, it has a almost honey-like color to it. You know, it's soft and mild, so make sure we get the jus in. Since this is nice and cold, we can add the hot honey solution into it and it will balance itself out. I'll just give it a... Oh yeah. Don't mind me, just getting a little gorgasm. There we go, remove that. Now we just add a honey solution to it. It also has our nutrient. I have some fresh water inside the kettle since it was boiled, so it's all sterilized. Use that to wash out all the excess sugars, and now I'm just going to top it up. And, you know, pour a little bit on the side. And just a little bit more. I know what I'm like. So I'm going to top it up to about there. So there we go, it actually looks pretty good. Uh, honey and honeysuckle. It smells divine. With all that sugar, you can really smell the honeysuckle. So we're gonna have to pop the hydrometer in, but first we need to give this a damn good shaking. Don't worry, my hands were sterilized with the bleach, so should be good. That's looking pretty good. So, there's my hydrometer, just rinse it off. Let's pop this in and let's see what it's reading at. That's pretty good. So it is reading right at the 5% mark, which is, according to this, at the 5% mark, which is 1.030, which is, it's respectable. It's a respectable, nice, hopefully light little, no, I can't help myself. That tastes good. Honeysuckle. Sweet honeysuckle, no less. So the yeast that I'm going to be using is the old faithful universal wine yeast. It's, it's simple, it's good, it's easy to go to. It does pretty much anything and everything. So just sprinkle a little bit on the top. And my airlock has already got water in there, so just pop that down. And well, that's as done. We have created a honeysuckle mead. I am actually really interested to see how this turns out, because well, it looks good, and it has the potential of being, well, really good. Cheap honey, free flowers, I mean, what's not to like? So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out some of the other ones, subscribe and comment, you know, do all those things that YouTubers tell you to do. But most importantly, carry on homebrewing, guys. See you later.